Hello, I'm Lizelle Sambri. I'm the author of, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Blood Like Magic. <laughs> um, and yeah, so today is all about my post NaNoWriMo plan. So NaNoWriMo is over. It ended last week <laughs> and this week I am here to talk about my post NaNoWriMo plans. Um, so it is December. It is the holiday season. It is a different sort of holiday season, obviously, because we are inside and we'll be quarantining. And this year, um, we're going to be staying in our house. My boyfriend and I, we're not going to be visiting family or anything because of, you know, safety, <laughs> keeping everybody safe. And I have immunocompromised family members. My little sister is. And so I don't really want to go near them for sure. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to be staying here. And so I thought I would share my writing plans, my post nano plans um, for December. So to <laughs> give you a little bit of background. So during NaNoWriMo, I started off with a sci-fi thriller about not even halfway through the month. I want to say like a week into the month, <laughs> I realized that it wasn't really working for me. I kind of not, I couldn't find myself jiving with the story, I'd lost some passion for it. And also it just started to kind of not feel like it was going to fit with the things that I wanted for my career. And so I decided that I should just switch projects and I switched to working on a dark academia project. Um, I did not really, I didn't like finish anything. So like I didn't finish plotting it or anything like that. Um, I essentially just started working on all of the background information. So like making like character profiles and trying to work on character arcs and like doing some like overarching things for how I wanted the series to go and like thinking about what I wanted to happen each in each book and also like writing out a history for like excuse me there's a secret society in the book and so writing out the history for that and kind of figuring out how things would work. I also um, read Creating Character Arcs by Cam Wyland so that I could kind of learn from that um, and then there's a uh, Laura Wrights, who I will link below, um, does a writing craft book club. And in January, there's a book that's being read. Uh, you can check out her announcement video over here. And so I want to read that book in December for sure so that I'm ready to participate in the January book club. And so I'm sure I'll learn more from that book as well. But the big thing about my post NaNoWriMo plans is that I'm not going to continue to work on that NaNoWriMo book. So the Dark Academia book, because it's so robust, I kind of need more time to noodle on it. And so I kind of just want to set it aside for a little bit. Um, in January, I'm going to start working on my Blood Like Magic sequel again. So the sequel to my debut novel. Um, I had already done a rough draft of that sequel and I sent it to CPs and betas and also my agent to read. And they're going to have their feedback for me ready for January. Um, my deadline for that book for like the first draft of that book is March and so I had planned to work on it work on doing editing it in like January and like maybe February if I need two months so that I could submit it in March so December is free in terms of deadline books but that being said um, in case you didn't know right now I have a young adult horror on submission um, and so um, because we're going to be seeking a two book deal um, something and the horror I have on submission is a standalone something I wanted to do was I wanted to get a sort of proposal ready for the second book so that I can kind of show what I have in the pipeline um, I did something similar to this for my debut it's it's different because my debut is a series so it was a two book series so while I was on submission with it I wrote up the whole synopsis and plotted the second book in the series um, and then we were able to give that to my editor essentially so this is a little bit of a different case because it's a standalone but still I want to have that second book ready um, just in case so not ready as in like I write the whole book because no not even necessary at this current point in time but ready in that I kind of have something to show so 
I've had a horror idea in my head. I actually have mentioned this horror idea before, but originally I'd planned it as an adult. And then because I wanted to have that companion book, I was like, you know what? I think actually there's a way for me to adapt it to be young adult. Um, and I think that fits better as well. And so that's what I'm gonna end up um, plotting. So that's what I'm gonna work on for December is I'm going to work on getting that plotted. And that will actually only take me the month, if even that long, I don't think it will. I think it'll take me like two weeks. Um, but because it's grounded in the real world, um, I don't have to do, well, like my dark academia is also grounded in the real world, but I have to do a lot of magic system stuff and a lot of world building and a lot of like extra character work where I don't have to do as much for, um, the horror because it's very, very grounded in real world. Like the amount of like magic and the magic system would be a soft magic system um, versus a hard magic system with very specific rules. It would be a little bit more soft, a little bit more flexible. And so that's also a contributing factor. But in any case, I know it won't take me that long to plot it. Um, and so I'm going to be working on that for December. I'm comfortable putting the Dark Academia on hold also because I really wanted to go visit Kingston slash Queen's University where I'm going to be setting the book. And that's probably not gonna happen like optimistically August of 2021, but depending on COVID might not happen by that anyway. And I'm not in a huge rush for it anyway. It's kind of like a, it's just like, I'm not in a huge rush for it. It's like, it's like an after project, right? And so that's why I'm comfortable just kind of setting aside and why I wanna work on this for December because I know this is something I can complete for December and I'd like to finish something because I couldn't finish something for NaNoWriMo. Um, so I'd like to finish something for December. And I originally told myself I was gonna take December off, but I am, you know, a productivity hoe. I just like, I can't, not work for a month. I just, I lack the capacity. I just cannot do it <laughs> physically, especially now that I'm, you know, writing full time. I'm just like, I can't just sit. I just, I have so much more time. And so I don't need as much of that rest time. Like I can take a few days off and that's like plenty of rest for me. So I'm gonna be working on that in December on like getting the second horror done. So what to say about the second horror so um it's inspired by the haunting of hill house so the haunting of hill house is like one of my favorite tv shows i think it's so 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 good but what i love about it is that like intimate family drama in which there's a large family with like many siblings and so that's like a big part of this second horror is that there's a big family with many siblings um they're gonna be like kind of wealthy they're like wealthy but their parents don't want them to act wealthy so they're often kind of put into situations like they don't go to like a private school like they go to a public school um and their family owns the school um so their family is quite well off but again they kind of want them to be like humble um and then of course there is a murder because all of my horrors have murder. I like, I don't think I could write a horror without murder. That would be weird to me. But anyway, so there's murder. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna be working on that. And because I've been reading Clown in a Cornfield, like I kind of, it's not gonna be a slasher, but I think what I love about slashers is that nobody is safe. Like you, can start to fall in love with the character and that oh yeah they're they're gone they're dead now and so i kind of i love that feeling of like nobody is safe nobody is untouchable and i'm so often very precious with my characters like i never want to hurt them and i never want to put them through like the suffering of like actual like death i'm so so very precious with them and so i kind of like that vibe so i'm gonna see what i can do about that so i'm very excited about plotting this and working on this for december my only kind of like difficulty slash issue with the horror is that i haven't figured out what i want the like horror element to be like i don't know what i want to do with it <laughs> because um 
with my horror that's on submission right now, I knew it was going to be a haunted house book. And so it was just like the horror presence was the haunted house. And in this case, I know it's going to be set at a school, but I'm like, the horror element isn't going to be the school. Um, one, because like, I don't know, it could, like I've definitely watched stuff where the horror element is the school, but I don't really want to do that because then I think it'll be way too similar to the Haunted House book. I really want to have something different. I just got to figure out what it is and I have some ideas floating around in my head and I'm like, how could I make these things work? So I might have to do some research in the form of horror movies to decide what I want to do. but. That is the plan. Those are my post NaNoWriMo plans. Um, I don't know, maybe it just feels this way, but I know it kind of seems like the, the way I am writing is like semi chaotic. I don't know, maybe it just feels that way to me. But like, there is a method. There is a method to this. I do have a plan. <laughs> of how my writing career is going forward and this all fits into the plan. <laughs> so December I will work on plotting this new horror book um, so that I have like a companion book for my book that's on submission right now. Um, next month in January, so maybe January and February, or maybe just January, I'll be working on my um, the sequel for Blood Like Magic. Um, and then after that, I will probably jump right back into working on the Dark Academia book and like planning that. And I think that'll probably be like my focus for the rest of 2021 is like working on that Dark Academia book, which is why at this point, I don't mind jumping to like get the plotting of the second horror done because I know it's going to be a much faster process and that I'm going to need way more time to work on the dark academia stuff and like have to do way more research. So this is kind of like my little refresher and like my thing where I can like complete something for the end of the year so that my productivity whole heart can be happy and be like, yay, I finished something because I didn't finish something for NaNoWriMo. So that's my plan for December. And then we'll just be hopping into a new year and I will, I don't know if I'll like, I guess I will do probably another video in January talking about my like writing career at large, but I may just like push that off until later because like I don't know that it's going to be that different from like what I'm saying now versus what I would say in January. Oh actually I'm going to probably do a video in January about my goals for the year. Yes that makes sense. It's look at me planning as I talk to you. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing in January. So yeah, those are my plans for December. Um, what are your plans for December or for your or your post nano plans rather? That's probably a better way to phrase it. What are your post nano plans? Um, are you continuing on working on your nano project? Um, are you done with your nano project and you're just kind of leaving it? Um, are you jumping right into editing or are you doing other stuff? What are your post nano plans? Please share those in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.